This is going to be the video walkthrough for Tuesday, February 9th. And in this assignment, um, the first thing they have posted for the uh, first period is just the announcements. If you're in periods two and three, that obviously doesn't necessarily uh, concern you, so you can skip over that. Uh, the first thing we have is a video. And in the video, you're going to be looking at how a dog's vision compares to human, um, how the human vision compares to a cat and to a snake. And with each one of these, just write two sentence descriptions about how they're different. Um, it might be uh, better for you to turn on the subtitles, and that might help you with a few, a few of the um, questions in there. The uh, second one is going to be a simulation about animal eyes. So you can find that in McGraw-Hill, and it's going to be COL. It's going to be 9.9. .9. So as we go through this, kind of follow the instructions. In this section, the next will not appear until you move the rabbit. So uh, what you want to do is, after you move the rabbit, you want to go through all of these different animals. And then you can see at the overhead view, this kind of mouse moving around. So check out all of these animals day and night. And what I'd like you to do is just write a unique description about how each of these views are unique. And again, don't forget to test the day and night. And don't forget to compare the uh, field of vision. So the field of the vision here is significantly different than the field of vision um, here or here. And then after you're done with that, Animal you're going to try to match up which animals have which vision in here. And just go ahead and write down the name of the animal with their uh, unique vision. And then when you finish, take a screenshot of this, please, because um, I do know that these all change every time you do it. So take a screenshot, resize it, and put it on there. In the last section, what I'd like you to do is um, you kind of have a choice between this colorblind test or these different like kind of color tests. And there's all sorts of different ones for you to kind of play around with and mess around with. Some of them are neat. Some of them are kind of not worth your time. And after you get done with one of those, either screenshot your results or just put like a quick little summary of like, I'm not colorblind or uh, maybe you are. Um, last one is going to be this section on the seven habits of highly effective uh, kids or learners. And this is actually like a pretty popular thing. It's a good book. I know in uh, many businesses, they asked, they asked uh, students to go through this, read this. Um, this is kind of like the little kids version. And it, it does look a little bit dated. And there is like a lot of narration, a lot of speaking that needs to go along with it. But I think you just as a... Um, you know, 13, 14 year old can go through it and extract a little bit of meaning for yourself. At least pick up on some of these things, proactive versus reactive. You can read about what those items are. And I just want you to take something from here and try to make a decision on how you can apply that to your life. So one of the, one, one of the items that I chose for myself was this whole idea of sharpening the saw. And it's just this idea of making sure that these different aspects of you are in balance. So this is kind of like the do not or what happens. And this is the make sure that you do this to make a better you. So this is something that I uh, really struggle with doing, getting good sleep. And uh, something that I really try a little bit more of. So, uh, and sharp, so the whole idea between sharpening the saw is making sure that your tools are ready. That way, when it comes time to do work, you're doing the best that you can do. If you have to uh, cut down trees for uh, 10 hours, you should spend two of those hours just sharpening your axe, sharpening the blade. 
So again, just uh, do your best. If you need to do like a little uh, Google search, there is a lot of information on seven habits of highly effective teens or seven habits of highly effective students, um, seven habits of highly effective learners. And you can just do a Google search and uh, look at different videos. And these really are like pretty powerful self-help things. Um, I think it's something that I kind of want to develop a little bit more. So that's today's assignment. Go ahead and work on it. And then if you have any questions, um, send me a message and I will uh, do my best to answer it. But check your uh, power school. Make sure that everything's turned in. And remember, there are videos on how to do every graded assignment. Have a great day. Take care. Peace.